NTA is under a complete meltdown. And this is not me saying, it's today's Times of India, page number 7. This article which says NTA is in complete meltdown over safe delivery of exams. And it is mentioned that officials fear that groups of hackers are using dark web and they have hacked into the NTA servers and system. And uh, they also don't know even if the future exam uh, papers are safe or not. We have no clue about this till now, but this article definitely shed some light on the deep rooted problem in NTA. If you remember a few years back when NTA was formed, we thought that NTA is going to be a game changer for all of us. The deep rooted problems in NTA are coming up now. But many of the times we have voiced our opinion about the normalization procedure which happens for CSI and its life sciences, which is definitely questionable because who decides whether the question paper of the morning session and the evening session were at the same difficulty level? If it is human, then it is prone to human errors. And if it is AI, then definitely it also can be biased. So that is a, another controversy which has kept coming back to me all the time and uh, we have voiced our opinion on our YouTube channel also about that. But the current crisis which we are seeing with NDA is they have postponed uh, the NEET PG exam just 12 hours before the exam. This shows the kind of uh, chaos which is there in NDA at this juncture and I believe it is my responsibility and duty to tell all our CSIR aspirants to know that even though the question papers were ready for CSIRnet, because the authorities are not sure if it has been leaked or not on the dark web, they may not conduct the CSIR and exam so soon, which we had predicted earlier. The news as it comes, and uh, I'm talking to a lot of people who have internal insights and sources from within the NTA, they have told me that the chaos is such that now CBI is checking everything from beginning till the end. And that obviously means that the exams may not happen so soon as we anticipated. So here are four to five plans which you should have, which will help you strategize your career and you should not pause your career just because some stupid people did a scam where NDA was involved or not involved, we don't know yet. Here are a few pointers which I wanted to share this morning with all of you. The first one is, okay, you can wait for the exam, but that will lead to more mental stress and frustration and that's something which I don't know, don't want for you. And I know this is something which is already happening. And I am seeing so many comments where people are like, we should ban NTA from conducting exams. Well, that's something which government has to decide. But definitely this plan A is not working, which was to write the exam in June. So the plan B could be that, okay, you can wait for the exam or you can, you can prepare for the CSR in a December exam. But even that will make it postponed if this exam is getting delayed. So that is plan B. You wait for the CSR and, uh, exam or you go for the December exam. The third plan, the plan C can be you don't stop learning. You can go for learning artificial intelligence, bioinformatics and machine learning, coding for biology, all these things and become employable for the industry. And if in case you are getting a job, take it. If not, you can always go back and prepare for CSR. The plan D can be strengthening your microbiology and molecular biology skills because these two skills are highly sought after in biotech industry and pharma industry in QA, QC and R&D. So you can always go and prepare yourself by taking hands-on training at IASC Incubated Lab headed by Dr. Deepthi Saini in collaboration with Biotechnica. The link is given in the description. You can also, the plan E can be, you can also go for the conferences which are going to happen in the near future. For example, Immunocon is conducting a conference in uh, October, so you can probably plan that also. So apart from all of this, let me know what are your plans, what are you thinking, what is your thinking process, where you need help, what exactly you require, let us know and we will definitely try to help you. Remember, every child in need today is going to be a scientist in the future, but he or she needs a lot of hand-holding. The authorities are doing their job. Thankfully, they postponed the exam instead of cancelling it, which would have led to more chaos and confusion. But here it is, the mental trauma and stress is the same, whether it is postponed or whether it is uh, cancelled. But at the same time, I want to make it 
very clear for all of you that please do not pause your career just because some corrupt people did a scam. Your career must keep moving. You have to keep moving forward. You have to keep learning. You have to make yourself employable. If in case you need any kind of training, we are coming up with the mock interviews almost every day on, on Biotechnica's channel. You can also uh, subscribe to that. If you want to continue preparing, you can always take help of Biotechnica's upcoming batch, which is there from 1st of July for the December exam. All the details are given in the description. And at the same time, make sure that you stay focused and do not deviate and start looking for something else. Because a career in biotech means a lot of focus, a lot of patience and a lot of support, which we are ready to give. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I was able to relieve some of your mental pressure. And now that you have four or five plans in front of you, go ahead and pursue whichever you like. Biotechnica is always there for you to help you, support you, guide you, nurture you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.